Okay, hello, hello, hello. This is the Wings Mobile Detailing Podcast, and today we're covering on the automotive detailing topic, uh, talking about the old-fashioned detail versus the neo detailing. Uh, if you're, for all of you folks out there who lean more towards the old style of detailing for your personal car, or if that's the way you do detailing, using more of the old, you know, old waxes to maintain the car clean with those paste Maguire's paste turtle wax. Uh, and you're not really much, not only familiar, but you're not really trusting much of the the new detailing products that it, that's out there. Ceramic coating can be new sealants or what they call spray ceramic, which can be hyped up. So I do understand why a lot of people actually, they tend to go, and even for your detailers, so uh, it's good to understand why people sometimes they prefer to link towards the old products, even if it's not as effective as the new one, but the reason being is because, let me know if you can relate to that, but there's a lot of hype in the auto detailing pro- product sales out there. The way manufacturers are marketing their products to sell, they're calling products one name when they, in reality they're not much different. They'd call a spray product a ceramic coating service, when in reality it's not the real type of ceramic. And so that actually can ruin the service this actual ceramic coating service which is a great service is a great protection for any uh car that's out there when i say any it's like for any new car obviously there are exceptions to where it's worth to apply ceramic or not that's another topic uh but let's stick with the old fashioned detail versus the new one the pros and cons and i understand the reason why people sometimes lean towards the the old style of detailing. Stay tuned. Welcome to the Wings Mobile Detailing Business and Automotive Podcast. The only podcast that will guide you on how to start and grow six-figure companies. As our team expands from one business location to worldwide domination, you will get step-by-step insights from a millennial franchiser and franchise owner with your host, Andre Mezzalera. Guys, this is not a topic there is that is very much talked about, uh, and so sometimes folks are questioning to whether they should keep their old style of detail. And some people do prefer to stay with the old waxes instead of machine wax, instead of sealants, instead of ceramic coatings. They prefer to do just a wipe down the interior instead of using the new serums that's out there for the interior leather and things like that so uh, a lot of people are just stuck to it they're not no i'm not changing my mind i'm not going to go and be part of this you know get, or get my personal car i'm not going to get my personal car this new product i just want this i want wax on my car and that's it but some other people are actually you know more open towards seeing okay maybe that's better for my car uh, i've gotten clients before where they have exotic cars you know really really nice cars and they just they just weren't familiar with the new products it's not that they weren't trusting the new products and they want to stick with the old but they weren't familiar they didn't understand the difference so consequently they tend to lean more okay let me stick with the old and not mess with anything new because i don't want to mess up my car but other people actually is if you're leaning towards opening your mind and uh you know, or are just, you know, want to use your time to learn, okay, maybe for my car, I want, I'm I'm willing to go with the new products, but I wanted to know the difference. And this is what the podcast is for. We're telling you the difference today. Uh, There are benefits to both. There are benefits to both having the, having it done the old way with the old products, you know, old techniques, which it's not necessarily old. It's still very much used today. I mean, waxes, you know, we use waxes for the car today. I use it for my personal car. Uh, uh, by the, uh, obviously, by the time I got it ceramic coated, I don't use it anymore. So I went with the new, which is ceramic coated. So waxes is still great for new cars. They're still clear coated just the same. Uh, there's still the benefits, which doesn't change. It's no, not bad if it's properly done. But let's compare a little bit, point by point, and step by step, what these differences are between the new and the old products. So starting with waxes, um, it's much talked about. We, we as detailers, we get a lot of 
clients who request a service and they're like, I don't want anything new on my car. I just want the old, I just want to wash and wax. That's it. Old applied, hand applied wax with a paste wax. And we service vehicles like that. In fact, we have many packages like that and to where we service those type of clients. And if they are willing to understand and learn more. So this is the difference. Um, after a while, wax was always applied, washed, you know, as regularly decontaminated. We're not going to go over clay and everything like that. But in the old way, there wasn't sealants, you know, polymers. The old days was mainly those, the paste actual wax. And with time, they actually start coming up with, as the years went by, they started coming up with uh, beeswax. You know, carnauba wax is a really old type of wax used, and it is amazing. It's a Brazilian wax. Uh, there are other types that are, you know, polymers, which goes more towards the sealant, which is better than wax, less longer, it's thicker, uh, and it protects the paint more efficiently, efficiently and better. Uh, the wax, for example, it is still great to protect your car. It's hand apply. With time, they start to moving. When they start coming with the dual action buffer, which I consider that towards the new way versus the old way. Old folks, not old folks, but people want to stick with the old detailing. They like, I don't want buffer on my car. I just want hand apply wax. Why? Because then buffers back then used to be a rotor, rotary buffer you, can, you couldn't use a buffer to wax a car because the buffer was only used to correct the paint now they made dual action buffers which is actually also made to wax car because they massage the wax just 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 like you massage the wax on the car with your hand but you use the buffer it's more efficiently it's quicker and it covers more area better it's more accurate and some people tend to think, I want to hand apply on my car wax. I don't want the buffer because they automatically think because it's faster or, or I'm not sure the reason, but think that it's not as well applied when it's done with a machine. But it, it, it's actually better because think about it this way. The buffer that you are using on the car and it has a low speed. It's not like to use it to cut the car to do paint correction. You're... You're massaging high speed, a good amount of liquid wax on the paint. You're massaging it thoroughly. So you're covering all areas aside. If you do with a pad, hand wax with your pad, uh, you may miss some spots. The chances of missing spots are higher, even though you're doing it slowly because you don't have the machine there. So in this part, yes, hand applied wax, well done. It is good, but it, it's not different than buff than using a dual action buffer. Obviously, it wouldn't be used a rotary buffer, but using a dual action buffer, which was created years after the wax was in the market. You know, the the dual action buffer is a new buffer, which most, if not all, detailers they have. It's common right now. It was really common. Uh, so in that aspect, you know, don't get yourself okay. I'm just gonna go with the old waxes. Is still good. And but having applied with a with a dual action buffer, it doesn't make it worse, unless you're dealing with a non-professional and sloppy detailer on your vehicle and uses and do even dual action buffer where they didn't clay the vehicle properly before using the buffer. You could have swirl marks consequences, but then it's your job to find a good detail or not a bad one. Any good detailer, they would clay your car before putting the buffer on the car and the chances of scratching the car especially with the dual action uh, you know in a professional level aren't very high if you're dealing with a professional detailer and then there's the sealants as well you know sealants they came after waxes waxes they were waxes were introduced around the 1800s and then the sealant they came just about around the same time obviously before they using carriages <laughs> so around the 1800s uh, but sealants are also a step above wax it has a better protection and i'm not talking about the quality as much of the sealants i'm just comparing to why you shouldn't stick just with the old if sometimes you're gonna benefit with the newer although sealants are not much new but they are you know some people actually do prefer to just stick with the wax and not even think about doing sealants much less ceramic coatings but sealants are just a step above of type of paint protection 
And there are a lot of good brands out there, just like waxes, you know, sealants, they're polymers. Uh, most of them where waxes are actually waxes. It's applied the same way. Deer cream, they can be uh, in a liquid, in more liquid form or cream. Uh, and you massage on the car, you massage the sealant, it's going to get a better protection. There's no conse negative consequences on the car, just like the wax. Only if it's not a same with wax. If you apply wax on black trim, you know, it's going to fade. Same with the sealant. So they're about the same. Sealant's just better. It can be sometimes a little bit more costly. But in the term of investment, think about later on, it's going to last longer. It's going to offer better protection for the car. It's going to sometimes shine more than wax, but some waxes do offer more shine as far as that goes. But if you're really looking for the protection, have a good coating of the sealant on your car. Don't be afraid of the difference. Uh, obviously, I'm gonna for you folks who's still okay. I don't. I'm. I'm not for towards. I still want the old wax. You're not gonna convince me. I'm not trying to convince you. Uh, just to see the difference to let you know. And I'm gonna go with the negatives of the new product in the markets out there. Uh, even though I'm sure a, a lot of you listeners are more leaning towards the millennials because this is the podcast. But if you're the millennial detailer you know you might get some benefit from this because you're servicing uh older clients uh which is fine so the the sealants out there offer sometimes it can better offer shine but for sure sealants are made to offer better protection longer protection label nowadays of products something to watch out for which it can be included in the hype of the detailing products out there from the manufacturers, the way they brand it, is that sealant will last for 12 years, uh, and wax is just last for, uh, t not 12 years, pardon me, for 12 months. You know, they manufactured the sealants that they're going to last for 12 months, and waxes are going to last much less, which indeed... Wax does not last as long as a sealant. That's true. Sealants are thicker. They will be longer in the car. But sealant sometimes... Uh, it sometimes they brand a sealant as it's going to last for 12 months. But that's not really how it is. If a daily driven car in the real world... The car is not parked. Not driven very much. In the real world where people drive their car. That's what we do. Sealants would normally go for about seven, eight months. Uh, for for daily driven, sometimes even less, depending on the contamination that it goes through it. So we like as detailers, we like to tell the client the average. It does not not looking through the label, but the average how much it would last on their car in the real world. If they tell me that they're not driving their car very much and it's garage kept, yeah, I'm gonna tell them, hey, as a consequence, good consequence, you're gonna get it less what the label might be you know, telling you that it's going to last the 12 months. So there is that excessive hype. And I think that that is what bring people from not trusting the new products because that excessive hype of how they been labeling products nowadays with the sealants, for example, it's going to last for 12 months. It's a new technology. They use a lot of those catchy words just to make it seem like it's a new technology when in fact, you know, all that it changes is the brand, but the, air, the composition inside the product is just about similar. It's just about it's the same. Carnuba wax, it's going to be a carnuba wax. It's not going to be oh, a new technological carnuba wax. No, it's the same. What they can do is call it like cleaner waxes. You know, sometimes, but what cleaner waxes is, it is, can be just regular wax with some abrasiveness on it which is polished, that's how you polish the paint, you'd have some abrasiveness on it. A cleaner wax will help to remove minor paint imperfections like swirl marks, and we say cleaner because it's removing surface swirl marks, but you're actually polishing, lightly, lightly polishing the paint and removing imperfections. If your car doesn't need that, doesn't need to be polished, go directly to the wax or directly to the sealant. And if your car needs to be polished, do a separate, polish a car and then apply the wax. Don't mix much because you don't want to also be polishing your car for every time you wax. There's no need to polish. Better not to polish. Uh, but there are those names out there. You know, like nowadays they have uh, the new spray sealant that's going to last for 12 months. Uh, and But in reality, that's how they market. And they are not lying. But they are telling you 
It's going to last 12 months under the impression that your car is not going to be driven. Uh, so it's, that's why I think sometimes folks get, they get gravitated away from these new products because of lack of an understanding. Uh, so sealants are good. Sealants are good. Just don't fall for the same. You know, if you get a polymer sealant and paste apply sealant, it is going to be better than the liquid spray sealant on the car. If we start off, let's say you were a car owner and you start off on your car with a good first coating of sealant. You clay bar the car, coating of sealant on the car, good protection. And then you follow up with, with waxes. That's how we like to do. We follow up with waxes. You can do it every two, every three months. Paste wax the car. It's going to make the sealant last even longer because the wax is protecting the sealant. The wax uh, really goes well, you know, depending on the brand that you get on top of the sealant. And that will make itself make the sealant last for 12 months if you regularly wax your car. Paste wax the actual paste sealant or, you know, the liquidy, not the spray one. Because if you do get... If you start off with the spray sealant and then you maintain your car with the spray wax, yes, it is going to be faster to do it quicker, but that's not necessarily better for protection. Uh, and and so so yes, if you see if you see a liquid, it, it may not be necessarily better than compared to a paste one. Uh, and I understand, I really do understand why people get gravitated to old, old one. Uh, but that doesn't make that doesn't necessarily make because not only the sealant the ceramic coatings is hyped up you know even pe people nowadays even hype up wax you know they call it cleaner wax when in reality they're mixing stuff inside some abrasiveness so everything's hyped up that doesn't make the new things worse for a car it, it's actually better you actually new products that they are coming up with sealant ceramic coating if professionally applied it it is much there's no bad consequences to the car it's it will last longer it's uh resistant against heat uh much better than the waxes uh so overall it's going to protect the paint better the color of your paint better and this is what you are going to want you want your paint protected your paint looking nice and for a long period of time that's what the ceramic coating is going to accomplish much better than any wax or sealants with, without any negative consequence in there. And the maintenance part, when you go towards the ceramic coating, which is much more expensive, even though it's more exp expensive, that doesn't mean it's not worth. It's actually, it, it makes financially more sense to have a new car ceramic coated than a new car wax, even though you're spending more money. But then in the future, if you're maintaining the car, where if you apply the coating of wax or sealant, you have to maintain with the same type for a longer period of time. Where ceramic coating, it's good to maintain as well with a spray silica reload, but using a different type of, you know, it's less expensive to maintain a car. Like, but it, and at, at the end of the day, it's going to look better. You know, I might know the benefits of ceramic coating. But today I'm not talking about the benefits trying to sell. Obviously, I don't sell products, but not trying to sell for you guys to actually go get ceramic coating. I'm just saying for all of you guys who uh, you're open to new ideas, to the new things, but you were afraid of getting it. So that makes you stick and only get the old things, the old type of waxes. I understand the reasoning behind it, but you can really rest assured that you know, as long as you pick a good, reputable detailer and say, hey, I want my car to be protected, you know, detailer ha that has good reviews, they're going to lean you towards, they might lean you towards sealants, they might lean you towards ceramic coating. Uh, it is good. It is a good option. Uh, and sure, the product's label can be hyped up, but that doesn't make them worse. You know, the sealant will be labeled on the, on the late it's going to be labeled that the sealant will last for 12 months when in reality they will that's how we market we actually tell the our clients that it will last for eight months in the real world and it's still better protection which is in fact true it's been tested uh even new manufacturers they tested in, in rough terrain rough conditions uh and th the way that they are used it's been tested that they work uh in t same with the interior you know, with the, as when it comes to the interior of the car, some old 
people wants to just get interior wiped down. I don't want any products applied on my on my seats. I don't want any products applied on my fabric, on my vinyl, on my hard surface. I just want to wipe down and that's it. The car needs I want the car to look like that and I don't want any additional product out here. Why do they think that way? And it, it, it's it's reasonable because if if you're taking your car to a, a car wash, you're gonna put silicone-based products on the hard surfaces just to make it look glossy and nice. Those products are not good. They're just gonna make it oily and shiny. The hard the hard surfaces, the dashboard, and just to make it look nice. Now, actual reputable detailers, and that's who we should be dealing with. And they come to you and, and talk about, you know, applying leather conditioning on your leather. It's leather. If your car has leather or new car nowadays, they have vinyl. It is good for it. It is good for you to apply vinyl conditioning on the hard surfaces of your car if it's not plastic. Um, not silicone based, but just to protect. It might not change the look. You might think, okay, my car is clean. It does not need it. But... That that is the actual truth about detailing. It's not just when your car is dirty. The detail, most importantly, is when you have a new car and you want to protect and maintain the car that way with the products nowadays. And nowadays they have new leather Teslas. They have vegan seats. Older car, if they have leather seats, it still it needs leather conditioning. Vinyl to protect. It needs the vinyl conditioning. So don't close yourself, close your mind towards the new type of detailing that people are offering. Yes, watch out for non-reputable detailers who just want us to apply those shiny things. Whatever they apply on your car, on the interior of your car that makes it super glossy and shiny and blind you with that oily feel. Consequently, they cannot be good for your car. You know, we cover on a different podcast the bad things towards it. But the new things... Leather conditioning is good. Don't just, okay, I just need to wipe down my car because I don't trust the new products. No, you need leather conditioning and among the other things, you know, to protect your vehicle. Inside, both inside and and outside. Same applies with antique ve- uh, antique vehicles. If you have an old vehicle that you're maintaining and normally on the outside of these older vehicles, they have a one-staged paint which is not clear-coated like the newer cars, you know. Uh, cars after 1990s, you know, they all clear-coated. Uh, but before then, they might have had those old one-stage paint. And you might think, okay, I just want old wax because back then in the 1800s, that's when wax came out, they were made for that type of vehicle, one-stage, but not necessarily. They improved the product and the one-stage paint can also benefit from the new type of product, the new sealants, the new type of protection, ceramic coating sometimes. So it actually can go towards those vehicles as well. There are obviously exceptions, but most cars antique, they can be either clear coated or one staged paint. And thank you for listening to this 23 minute podcast. If you made it to the end, which I hope you did, you're listening to me if you did follow us put the subscribe button there and please send me an email if you have any questions if you're a car owner anywhere in the world uh if you're in texas if you're in florida virginia uh send me an email and i can respond to you uh i'm gonna leave the link in the details description below if you're a detailer or a car owner regular car owner who just have any questions and want to call call the number uh, and I'm going to leave in the description below. It's Wings Mobile Detailing. You can find some more blogs towards the same topic that I'm talking about on our website. Thank you.